thank you, Mr. Moderator. Good afternoon, my, our colleagues. Uh, first, I would like to thank the Western Committee to invite me to give a lecture in this prestigious meeting. Uh, in this afternoon, we would like to share our experience to treat the severe capricious deformity because of the TB spine. Severe, this means more than 90 degree kyphosis. The TB spine, I think according to WSO, one third of the global population is infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis. And every year, three million people die within this disease. In the US, 10 million persons are personally infected with the TB. And the spine involves almost 10% of the patient. Extrapulmonary TB is still constant. This means the incident is between 10 up to 15% is the extrapulmonary TB. And then 10% of the extrapulmonary TB is skeletal tuberculosis. Then half of the skeletal tuberculosis have <coughs> spinal involvement. And then 10% of this spinal tuberculosis will develop neurologic deficit. The most common site is in the thoracolumbar region, I think almost two-thirds of the patient. And then 3% of the patient develop severe kyphotic deformity because neglected of the patient to seek the medical attention. Another complaint besides the deformity, also the cosmetic disfigurement. Also, nearly all the patients develop cardiopulmonary dysfunction because uh, this more uh, short, uh, low the capacity of the lung, also painful in the back, and the impediment between the ribs and the pelvis and compression onto the spinal cord. So the problem in the TB, besides the pain, also infections, deformity, pathologic fracture, instability, and also the neurological deficit. Actually, our center treat the TB spine is since uh, 1960. In the beginning, we treat TB without the surgery, only put in the bed rest and then give the medical treatment and then put some breast after the uh, pain is a little bit uh, gone. And then in the 1970, uh, we start to do the surgery for the TB spine. We follow the Hong Kong method, dipping the from the anterior, follow with the anterior fusion. And then since 1980, we correct the severe carpalysis with the shortening procedure. Yeah. This procedure is almost the same as in the previous uh, speaker uh, mentioned. Actually, in the shortening, we do total lamectomy from the back, and then also the facet joint, and then through the pedicle, we did cortex of the spine body, remove all the pedicle from the lateral side, also preserve the nerve root. Then after that, we put pedicle screw in the above of the lesion, and then also submarine wire. And then with the cantilever mechanism, we do shortening and compression, and then put another screw below the lesion. This is the shortening procedure we did before we change to the destruction procedure. And then uh, since four years, we changed the, this uh, treatment with the destruction method. Why? Because we more respect to the uh, kyphotic, uh, we more respect to the sagittal plane of the spine. This procedure includes same osteotomy, distraction, and the instrumentation from the posterior follow with augmentation of anterior column from anterior approach to correct the deformity. This means we did in the two states actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This uh, clinical picture for almost of the our patient. The procedure is shortening, also costal transplexotomy, circumferential compression from the posterior, and then put instrumentation, distraction, uh, Sometimes we use the lamina feather from the posterior with the with uh, uh, with the anterior fusion. This means we do under the two states. One is posterior, the second anterior approach. This can be in the do in the one setting or we delay after the two weeks after the first surgery. 
Okay. We need to construct with the actually we use the pedicle screw and the rod system. In the rod we do the pre bending yeah. and then fusion for solar transfusion. Then we go to anterior for the second stage. We put the graph maybe from iliac on the rib. If the gap is long enough we can put the spacer like the cages. This is the our review. We have 19 cases of TB spine with the severe caprotic deformity since 2008. All the cases treated with the this distraction method. We call it this the alternative 10 from Super Sapardan total treatment method. Uh, Super Sapardan is our teacher. She developed the system to treat TB with the I think 10 modality treatment for the TB spine. This characteristics of the patient. Female 12, and then most of the patient is the adult patient. We use the extra soco, this from Taiwan, this from the Korea. Some regular complication decrease in two patients and improve in certain patients. My colleague is Dr. Salim, he did some comparison study between the shortening and distraction. Uh, this from the two years before. And the diaphragm kyphosis in the distraction is 100.4 degree, 100.3 in the shortening procedure. After kyphosis, after the surgery, 53.5 in the shortening, 28.8 in the distraction. After correction is 46.8 in the shortening, 61.4 in the distraction. And the three neurological complication in the shortening and two in the distraction. But usually after a couple of months, they improve the neurological diversity. This is the main kyphosis preoperatively. Yeah. This after the surgery, the kyphosis 53 and 28.8 from the distraction procedure. This is the profile kyphosis before and after correction in the tooth technique. This is the main correction. In the shortening, the correction is about 46.8 degree. In the distraction, this is 61.4. But there is no correlation statistically between the two methods. This is the example. Uh, the girl is six years old. TB in the T10 up to L3 with kyphosis 95 degree. We correct after the surgery become 25 degree. And still remain the entology neurological intact. This is another case. Ladies, this is the before after, yeah, this uh, the X-ray before the surgery. Sometimes we add some subaminal wire just to strengthen our instrumentation. Because in the TB, sometimes we can find the bone is quite porotic. And then also we try to preserve the motion in the lower lumbar. This is the X-ray of that lady. Uh, MRI, post-op surgery. This is the anterior graph. This is the photograph during the surgery. X-ray before and after. And then this is also the same, yeah. We correct from 125 become 35 degree. Yeah. Then still neurological intact. Another case, this is a lady, 35 years old, 140 degree, kyphosis in the thoracic thoracolumbar junction. This 140 degree of the kyphosis, previous extra before the surgery. This during the surgery. Sometimes when we do distraction, we put lamina spider in front of the body. This preserves the spinal cord. This instrumentation. Yeah. So, conclusion this procedure is anterior and posterior posterior in two states. Are important to correct the severe capsule deformity due to the TB spine and this procedure is quite safe as long as we do with the carefully surgery.
Thank you for your attention.